Shalom Israel, Shalom. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. The Lord is once again to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim who taught me his truth in its entirety. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing his truth all over the earth. And to the Akwith that are listening, Shalom. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson, <laughs> quick exhortation, right? And the title of this lesson is, uh, the Most High is about to make his, his, uh, grand entrance, man, right? With mighty works, right? With signs and wonders, right? The king of terrors, man, you know, because, you know, there's no fear of the Most High in today's society, man. There's no fear, man, no fear whatsoever, man. In the ancient world, after the deliverance from Egypt, you know, the fame of the Most High, the fame of the Most High was there, man, you know. The great, mighty, the great and mighty, terrible, right? The fame of the Most High was everywhere, man. Everybody knew. Everybody knew about the exodus from Egypt. All the other nations were shook, man. You know? The fame of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, was magnified, man. And he's about to make he's about to make his presence felt, man. With 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 signs and wonders, man. Marvelous works. Terrible signs and wonders, man. Plagues, pestilences, right? Mass death, right? Right? The wacky tackies preach. You know, bubble gum and, and 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 candy and love and smiles when referring to our Lord and Savior, Yahoshua Mashiach, right? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? But anyways, let's get some precepts, man. Exodus fifteen verse fourteen. Exodus fifteen verse fourteen. The people shall hear and be afraid, right? This is after the deliverance from Egypt, man. The people, the people heard about the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and how He delivered Israel, and they were shook. They were afraid, man. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, Salakia, the mighty men of Moab, trembling shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Right. These are the nations were shook, man. They were frightened. Right? They wanted nothing to do with the children of Israel or Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Shook. Right? And the Mosai is about to make a comeback, man. Right? About to show his face. Right? Verse 16. Fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thine arm. They shall be as still as a stone. Till thy people pass over, O Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Right. So anywhere the children of Israel went with the great and mighty arm of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, fear and dread took a hold of them, man. Other nations, man. And Mosai is about to make that comeback, about to show his face, man. You know? Deuteronomy 6, verse 22. Right. There's no fear. There's no fear. There's no fear of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Amen. This is chosen alone that fear. Right. This is elect that fear. Right. These are the nation. These season they don't fear him, man. Right. You see when you see when he makes a return and strikes. Right. Then there'll be fear. Deuteronomy six verse twenty two, and Yahweh showed signs and wonders, great and sore upon Egypt. Upon Pharaoh and upon all his household before our eye before our eyes. Right. So these signs and wonders that he showed in the ancient world during the Exodus, they're, they're, they're gonna they're, they're, he's gonna show them again, man. Some of these signs he, Wisdom of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 17. Shows you some of the things that the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai was doing in Egypt, man. Verse 1: For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, 
the prisoners of darkness, right? So these, these, the, the, the Egyptians, you know, the who in this verse are the unrighteous men, right? We're oppressing the Most High's chosen, the holy nation, right? For when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay there exiled from their eternal providence, right? That's when the, 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 the darkness came down on Egypt, man. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange and, and troubled with strange apparitions. Right. So these Egyptians were seeing apparitions, man. Strange apparitions. Let's get that word apparition. Strange apparitions, which probably bugged them the hell out, man. Which most definitely bugged them the hell out. Apparition. And the Most High is about to do this again, man. Apparition. Supernatural appearance or manifestation. Khan. So these Egyptians were seeing supernatural appearances or manifestations by the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? They were bugging the hell out, man. They were bugging the hell out. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. For, for, verse 4, For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. Right? They were bugging out, man. Noises. So, so they're in total darkness, and they're hearing noises sounding like water running, right? Like waterfalls falling down around them, right? Sad visions. So they're bugging out. They were, see, they're, they were seeing, man, they were losing it, man, right? Verse 5, no power of the fire might give them light, neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to light in that horrible night. That horrible night. Egypt was bugging out, man. And the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is about to come back. Show himself with some great marvels and works, man. Psalm 68, verse 35. The king of terrors, man. The great and mighty terrible. This, is, this precept right here shows that the Mosai is terrible, man. You know? Not bubble gum and smiles. Psalm 68, verse 35. O Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, thou art terrible out of thy holy out of thy holy places. Terrible. Let's look at this word terrible, man. The whole world's about to bug out, man. Terrible, causing terror, awe, or dread. Frightful, right? Right? O Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The power of Israel. Salakia. Oh, wow, that's a spirit, man. That's a spirit. Was a new alert. We're talking about the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I don't know. I just saw something on uh, somewhere in BC being evacuated. Right. Let's 
Slovakia. Khan. What is this? BC First Nation Village evacuated after blue green algae found in water source. Khan. First Nation, man. Right? Some northern tribes, man. A small indigenous community based in the South Coast community of King Kong in the BC has been evacuated after blue green, algae, blue green algae was found in its well water. Right? King of Terrors, man. It's a spirit, man. Right? Let's get back into what we're saying right here, man. Psalms, Psalms 68, verse 35. O Yahweh Hashem thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The power of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? Thou art terrible. So the Mosai, the Mosai Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is a terrible power, man. Right? He's to be feared. Right? He's to be feared because these last days, 1 Timothy, perilous times, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 3, perilous times. First Timothy chapter three. First Timothy chapter three verse one. It's lucky. Second Timothy chapter three verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Right. So these perilous these perilous times. We are in the last days right now, man. And these perilous times are coming. Right? Are coming. You gotta repent. You know what I mean? You gotta repent. If you don't repent, you won't be saved, man. Right? You gotta repent. Remember and recognize the true names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. The true names, Yahweh being the Father, Yahweh Shai being the Son. Right? Remember the true names and repent, man. Repent. Repent from your lusts. Repent from your from 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 your abominations. You know, eating these foods, these abominable foods. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Grow a beard. You know what I mean? Keep the statutes and commandments. You know what I mean? Put that work in. Pleasing work. Work that's pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Psalms 105 verse 26. He sent Moses' servant and Aaron, whom he had chosen. Right? This is to deliver. This was to deliver children of Israel from, from, from Egypt. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham, right? Them Hamites, them Egyptians, they saw those signs and wonders, man, right? Through the prophets, through Moses, through Aaron, right? They showed those signs and wonders. Verse 28, he sent darkness and made it dark and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish, right? All right, look at that, look at that pre look at that uh news news clip we just got there, man. Algae found in the water. Right? That's the most high Yahweh by Shem Shai, turning that water into algae. Right? Verse 29, once again. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. Right? There was frogs all over, man. Them plagues of Egypt, there was frogs all over. The water turned to blood. There was darkness. Verse 31. He spake and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. Right? Flies, man. The most I... It, man, us in this truth, we get it, man. You know what I mean? Everything that, everything that goes down, the most high ordained, ordained it, man. Everything that, everything that goes down, the most high decreed it. Let it go forth. You know what I mean? He spake and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. Verse 32. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. We see that now, man. Crazy weather, man. The Mosai Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? He smote their vines also and their fig trees. Right? That's famine. And break the trees of their coasts. He spake and the locusts came and caterpillars and that without number. Right? We see that right now going on in Africa right now, man. Them locusts are eating. They're eating, man, and that's gonna affect the shelves. The store that's gonna affect the, the bread, the, the staff of bread, man. Right? That's gonna that's gonna make famine. Verse 35. And did eat up all the herbs in their 
in their land and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in the land, the chief of their strength, of all their strength. That was a major, that was a, that, that, that was a major, major, major plague, man. When the angel of death came through and killed all the firstborn, right? Hence why we, we, we observe the Passover, right? And the Israelites put the, 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 the lamb's blood on their doorposts so the angel of death could pass over, right? Speaking of which, the Passover is coming up, man. You know what I mean? A solemn assembly. Right, and that was the major. That was the, that was that was what made Pharaoh say, "You know what? I'm, I'm done with the. I'm done with Israel. Let them go." All right. Verse thirty-seven. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Right. So these the Egyptians paid <laughs> when it was time. When it was time after that, when it was time for uh, uh, the Israelites to leave with Moses and Aaron. Right. The Egyptians were giving them gold and silver, man. They were glad. Verse 38. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. Right. The Most High Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai is about to show this magnificent, magnificent, overwhelming, great, strong, powerful, terrible. Two more precepts, man. King of Terrors. King of Terrors. Job 18. The King of Terrors, man. Right. It's not loving smiles, man. It's not loving smiles. I'm tired, I'm tired of hearing the loving smiles doctrine, man. I'm tired of hearing it out there, man. Right? Plantation, wacky tacky, pushing the loving smiles doctrine, man. Job 18, verse 14. His confidence, this is talking about the wicked. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. The king of terrors, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakadash. Let's close out. Nehemiah, Nehemiah 9, verse 32. Right? This is a prayer to the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Now, therefore, our power, the great, the mighty, and the terrible, there's that word again, terrible. Now, therefore, our power, the great, the mighty, and the terrible, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, who keep his covenant and mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before thee. That hath come upon us, right? Praying for the trouble that's afflicted us, us, us in Israel, us, us being the, the, the children of Israel, right? Let not all the trouble seem little before thee that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day, right? That was in the Persian... I was in the, around the times of the Persian captivity, man, right? Praying in the Mosai, Yahweh, B'Shem, Yahweh, and acknowledging that he's a mighty and terrible power, right? Begging for him to ease up on the affliction, right? Right, but we see it happening now. One more, one more precept, and then we're done. One more precept. We see it happening now, right? Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 30, verse 7, right? The reversal of the curses, on our enemies, right? Let's close out with this precept. This is a, this is how we know the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is about to make a grand entrance, man, with some mighty and terrible works. Deuteronomy 30, verse 7, And the Most High thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right? So our enemies and those that hated us from time, that have persecuted us from time, being in this captivity, this current captivity, this beast system, which is Rome, Right? The Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to turn the curses onto them. Right? But I pray you edified. Call Allah Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth is their entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutation to the out there pushing this truth all over the earth. Stay focused, stay prayed up. Kwame Asharala, Ababa Baal.